So in today's video, we're going to have a little look at uh, the controls and uh, how to drive a 50 series John Deere, the legendary 50 series now at this stage. Um, they're fairly basic compared to the, the newer tractors and a lot of people will know how to drive them, similar to the other tractors, but especially these 50 series, a lot of people would have grew up driving these uh, and know them inside out. So uh, yeah, well, if we look and see what kind of controls do we have on it and uh, go through go through what's what. So let's jump in there and have a look. So we've taken our position now in the tractor, we're sitting in the driver's seat and uh, we'll just talk through what we can see, what's the first things we can see uh, once once you're in the in the driver's seat. Uh, and the first thing you can see is uh, the excellent field of view that you have out the front window. The coved cab uh, left that you had almost 180 degree field of vision at the uh, at, at the front cab. Uh, a lot of tractors had a, a pillow which would be roughly around here that uh, all you could see is uh, just to the left and to the right of the of the front wheel and then you had a pillar there but the 50 series uh, and the 40 series before them uh, had these uh, these these round glass doors which were a very special feature on them looked very well uh, supposedly helped with keeping sound levels down in the tractor heat levels down in the tractor uh, as well as well as giving you this excellent view uh, field of vision out the front window so that was one of the features that that is one of the main features you can see from when you when, when you look straight out the, the front window uh, up high we have got some controls uh, mostly for the for the heat or air conditioning uh, blower controls is all up here uh, this here works the fan fairly simple then hot and cold air depending on the time of year or what you want uh, there is a position here you can actually kind of see it there uh, that you can put uh, another one of these dials in and that's for air conditioning but uh, this tractor never had air conditioning uh, unfortunately I'd love if it had to have uh, we have talked about maybe retrofitting it to it uh, maybe buying a, an air conditioning system out of a 50 series from a scrapyard but we haven't went down that road yet it's something that we have spoke about in the past and uh, we might do in the future but as of yet hasn't happened it's unusual for this for a 50 series not to have a, a sunroof most of them had uh, the last of them, if they hadn't got a sunroof, then they would definitely have, um, definitely have air conditioning. So the fact that this tractor has neither uh, is a little bit unusual. Um, other controls that we have up here, we have uh, controls for the wipers. So this this control here works the left hand wiper, and then this right hand one then works the the right hand one. Obviously, uh, separate wipers for for each glass uh, at the front. Uh, you also have a, a rear wash, which. Uh, Oh, sorry, not uh, window wash, uh, which you can press and let's water down, and you can you can wash your window uh, if there was any dirt or dust or anything got onto it while walking the tractor. Uh, what else have we got up here? We have uh, well all the vents obviously for the for the the heat or for the blower, uh, and then we have the radio then, which is in position in a a nice place right up and out of the way uh, and then when you're driving along easy access straight in front of you you can change the station or put a CD in or whatever you had to do whilst uh, still able to keep an eye on the road so well enough laid out that end of it um, also have a little uh, interior light and then a lovely little feature on a lot of John Deere's to have a, like an orange light here that shines down uh, this here light then shines down and puts an orange light down onto your uh, controls here so your gear levers and everything you have here so even in the dark you have a nice orange light that comes down and lights that up uh, something that was followed on in a lot of the later John Deere's as well they all had these orange lights uh, which which would shone down on on your controls um, so that's really everything up high speakers are for the radio are just placed here behind your head so uh, you always have good sound in your ears whenever you're you're walking the tractor uh, and that's basically all the controls there so everything's very basic and straightforward very uh very much away from uh, the later tractors like what most of the later tractors all have uh electrical stuff digital stuff uh all little switches and buttons walking stuff a lot of this here then is more old school um the likes of the lever then for the pto is placed here it's yellow it's always yellow on john deere so 
Uh, very simple, just push it forward, uh, engage the PTO. You could get a selectable 540 thousand speed PTO, which was usually based just here underneath the seat on the right hand side. Uh, this track that hadn't got that, but it could be ordered if, if you so needed. There is some has it, not many, but some do have it. Um, let's use your handbrake, position in a easy to get at uh, place. It's pulled on at the minute, you just press the button down and release it forward to let, to let it off. And uh, you have an adjustable, uh, there's a telescopic and uh, in and out on the steering wheel that can be adjusted just by twisting this here. So it pulls the steering in and out closer to you or further away depending on what you're doing. And then there's also a lever on it that you can uh, move the steering wheel uh, up so you can push it push it up out of the way for uh, getting in or out or uh, depending on what you're doing or what, what position you're sitting in. Uh, clocks is very very basic and straightforward uh, just analog uh, rev counter uh, which has all the gears kind of built into it so depending on the revs you're doing it kind of tells you what speed you're doing so that's the only way of knowing what speed there is nothing digital on this uh, you've got a switch for your lights uh, this here's the the front lights uh, this one here is your rear walk lights uh, which have, there's only two front two rear uh, this is your head and dip and then this is your four selecting your four-wheel drive. Uh, this here is your horn, and uh, yeah, there's, it's all very, very basic, straightforward. Uh, you have a key here, which you can you turn on for to start the tractor, obviously. Um, so you can your lights is actually based on the key as well. So what you have to do is if the first turn on the key brings on the ignition, second turn is the headlights or side lights, and then the third position then is the headlights. So it's 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 all very old school compared to the newer tractors. Uh, you've got a stopper here, so it doesn't stop on the key. You have to pull a stopper, and uh, that stops the tractor. And then you have uh, this here. Then is for starting it, little startup button. So uh, once the ignition is on, tractor's out of gear. Just flick this over to the side, and once it starts, let it go. Uh, so that's basically all the 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 buttons or, or switches uh, around that area we also have a power connection here which we have uh, a little box connected into it's not really doing anything at the minute but um yeah you have got you have got a power there so um on the sides then you have a, a window that can open so to open the window it's just a very simple little mechanism on it just so it clicks in and holds the window open in place uh, these cabs can get quite warm uh, that's one of the reasons why I'd love to have had the air conditioning on it uh, or a sunroof. Uh, they can get quite warm, especially when the tractor gets warmed up because uh, this here's a this piece of steel here gets warm. It's just sitting right over the right over the gearbox and back end of the tractor. So yeah, you you'd, you'd like to have some wee bit of extra cooling in there. Uh, what else have we got then here to the side? We have hand throttle, which is based here. Uh, we've got a, a multi power or power Centron or whatever they call it, John Deere calls it. Uh, so you can, it uh, just gives you, there's an extra, uh, an extra move or an extra gear in each gear. Uh, the gearbox is very, very simple. Uh, it's your standard H, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then you've got a high low and uh, a reverse as well. So it's all very, very simple. Like you've only got, there's 16 forward gears and eight reverse. Uh, so very very simple straightforward. Uh, these two levers here then works your spool valves so tipping your trailers or working your your oil pressured machinery uh, this, Those two valves are for and then this here then works your your uh, Your arms your hydraulics so uh, just simple enough up and down and there's all just little numbers along the side that you can you can have it set for uh, For for controlling the depth so uh, that's really that uh, then there is a this here is then for your pickup hitch. So you pull the lever back full, you pull this here then, and then you push this here forward, and that uh, that's your your hitch down for hooking on the trailer. So it's it's all it's all fairly straightforward stuff. Um, over on this side here then we have the diff lock is positioned here. It's not a foot diff lock. It's a hand one. So you push it down. You can actually once you push it down, click it into place, and that holds it. So you can see it there. So it's it back up. And uh, then we have a little ashtray here, 
which usually holds those little seals for for around the, the SCVs and uh, other bits and pieces, just little bits and bobs that's in there. Um, but that's really basically all the, the levers that's in here. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what else there is. I'll just switch around and we'll go down here. See this little dial here? Well, you can just, just add left or right, and by doing that, that uh, adjusts the speed that your hydraulic arms go up and down. So that's the control for that. All that's doing is just walking a valve. The newer tractors, like that's all electric. You can control it from, from a digital panel at the side that you can adjust that up and down. Uh, so compared to compared to that, it is very, very basic and, and bog standard. So that's really a whole run through. There's nothing really more, a lot less stuff on them compared to the new ones, but still very usable, very, uh, very reliable and a lot less to go wrong as well so um, yeah I, I love the 50 series I always have I uh, love a 3650 if we could get a like like half the country half the country both England and Ireland would be all looking for there's thousands of people looking for 3650s uh, but I'd love a, a high step maybe 93 94 model 3350 40k 3650 40k uh, if I could get one or 3350 it wouldn't bother me but a six cylinder yeah so that's that's really it uh, it's kind of a run through of all the controls on the 50 series um definitely a lot less electronics electrics than the new ones uh, but on the other side of it then these are a very reliable old school kind of tractor and still very usable even in today's farming world um, I love the 50 series. I always have. I've, uh, I've, I'd love to have a, a, a 3650 at some stage down the line, uh, like a high step, uh, or big step, should I say, model with a, a 40k, 40k box in it, and uh, yeah, something maybe like 93, 94 ish. Uh, but they are getting very rare and very hard to get. And if you one turns up, it's usually a big money. So. Um, yeah, not not the easiest thing bought at the minute, but you never know. In the future, we might we might try and pick one up from somewhere. Um, but yeah, go go nicely with the with this here. If I had a thirty six fifty, I'd use it for a lot of the jobs. Actually, I'd probably mow with it and use it for for a lot of those kind of jobs. Maybe even put the the JF nine hundred on it and use it on the on the harvester. Um, but yeah. It's all wishful thinking at the minute and a uh, long way down the line. There's a lot of other priorities before that. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this here uh, little review video of the the controls and walkings of the 2850. Uh, like the previous two videos. Uh, it's just a, a rundown on, on all the controls. Uh, the next tractor I'm going to do is uh, going to do the David Brown and I'll see if Dad maybe will give a hand to do that video because he'd have a better knowledge of the the working of the Selectomatic uh, hydraulics and and all that than me. I wouldn't I'd, I'm, I wouldn't be as familiar with it as him. I'd kind of have a half idea, but I'd I'd like if if he'd go through it with us and uh, so we'll see in the, see if we'll do that in the future. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching